Hello there, it's Sarah from Paper Lovely. Thanks for joining me today. I have got 10 cards to share with you using the Spruce Step collection from Close to My Heart. So I will be using some of the pattern papers as well as the card making stamp set. And I'm getting started here by stamping out a bunch of these birds. I'm using the Intense Black Ink. I will also stamp some out using uh, the Sangria ink as well as the Julep ink. And then as I move my way along through the stamp set, I'm going to be doing the pine cones in Espresso ink and Toffee ink. And then I will also do the branches and leaves in a mix of colors. So what I'll do is sort of a double stamping. I'm going to add some of the green to the leaves and then I will go in and add some of the brown on the edges. For that, I'm using both fern and New England ivy for the actual leaf colors. And then I will dip that into the espresso along the edge to color in the branch. And you'll see that as we move along here. I didn't include all of the stamping just for the sake of time, um, but you will see once I have everything trimmed out what those look like. And I did, rather than use the included dies, I went through and actually did these with my brother's scan and cut, uh, just because that's a lot faster for me since I was doing quite a few of these. So for the first couple of cards, I'm using the samples that were included in the catalog as inspiration here, and I will give you all of my measurements for all of the cards. Uh, for this first one, the purple is trimmed to four and a quarter by five and a half. The bird pattern paper is trimmed to four by five and a quarter. And then the wood grain paper is trimmed to three and three quarters by five inches. I am gonna take my corner chomper and I will round all of those edges. Now, it wasn't actually necessary for me to round all four. I could have just done the top two, um, but I wasn't thinking as I was going through and just did all four. To create this snow bottom here, I'm just gonna use a piece of torn cardstock. This is the French vanilla cardstock. And I'm gonna do two layers of that here just to create a little bit of a snow bank. Go ahead and get all of my papers layered. And then I'll add some ATG. Now I have trimmed this so that my snowbank would end at the edge of my bird pattern paper. You could do that all the way out to the edge if you'd rather. And then to add a little more texture, I'm gonna place a little bit of that Ranger texture paste there. I'm also gonna add some of that snow to the branches as well. So here I'm pulling in one of the branches with the fern ink and one with that New England ivy. Uh, two with that New England ivy, actually. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp my sentiment here and I went with thinking of you. I'm using my espresso ink for that, just doing a little stamp off to the side there since this is my first time using that. And now I'll go ahead and get everything pressed into place. So I'm just gonna layer everything out, make sure that I like the way that that's looking. And then I will use a mix of my ATG as well as some foam dots to give a little bit more texture and dimension. I'll also pull in some of these pine cones as well, two of the larger, one of the smaller, and then I'm going to finish up with one of my birds that I stamped out using the Sangria ink. I'm 
Lastly, I'm gonna pull in some of the silver sequin mix, and I have pulled in just the white sequins from this mix, but I'm gonna add a few of those around my branches. And then finally, I'll add some ATG to the top of my card base. This is an A2 sized card, and that will complete card number one. Here for card number two, I'm doing a little bit of ink blending to get some more color on these cutouts. So here I've taken some of the branches that were stamped out using the New England Ivy, and I'm pulling in some of the fern ink, just going over top of that there. I will also use a little bit of the toffee ink and go over top of the branch section as well. And I'll keep that toffee ink going and run that over all of the pine cones just so that I have a colored look on everything here. Finally, I'm going to add some color to my bird and I'm gonna pull in the toffee espresso and paprika ink and I'll just blend all three of those together to create sort of a, a robin type of bird. And I'll show you that. I think I left in two of these here just to show you the different blending. I was really happy with how that turned out. These were a lot of fun to do. So here I've grabbed a journaling pen and I'm just gonna create a line along this mink cardstock. This is trimmed to three and three quarters by five inches. And I am using the lighter back side of that. All of their cardstock has a front and a back side. The front is always darker. I also have some green pattern paper that's trimmed to four and a quarter by five and a half. And that small banner section is the front color from the mink cardstock and that is one inch by two and three quarters. So I've also pulled in some white ink here. I'm adding a few dots and I had pulled in some of the stars with the mink ink. Now I'll go ahead and get everything laid out. going to add a banner edge to my thank you sentiment. There you can see the difference between the two sides of that cardstock. And once I'm happy with my layout, I will again get everything glued into place. I'm using a mix of my art glitter glue as well as some of my foam dots. And finally, we'll go ahead and get our bird pressed into place. Gonna trim off the excess here. And since I had a few of these sprigs that were larger, I'm gonna add them down as well, just to make my branches look a little bit fuller. I'll add my green background pattern paper to the top of my card base. Add some ATG and add my bird panel here. And then I'm gonna pop up that banner sentiment with some foam dots. I'll trim off that excess and that will complete card number two. 
card number three is going to be the final card that I am replicating from the sample shown in the catalog. Um, I have trimmed down this wood pattern paper to three by five and a half. The purple is one and a quarter by five and a half. And then I have some espresso cardstock. I am using the back color, the lighter color that is trimmed to three quarters of an inch by four inches. I also have the striped pattern paper, uh, which is three quarters of an inch by two and a half inches. And then I will pull in a blue sticker, which measures two and three quarter inches. So I'm gonna stamp out my sentiment using my espresso ink. I've also grabbed a doily from my stash. This is sort of a taupe color. And I've pulled in one of my birds stamped with the sangria ink, as well as one of the chipboard leaf pieces. I'm gonna add a little stripe here of the julep velvet ribbon, just adding that down with some ATG. I've trimmed that doily just slightly larger than half, and I'm gonna get everything layered down here. Of course, I have added the banner edge to my espresso cardstock. Here is that piece of sticker that I've pulled in with a torn edge, sort of giving that a washy look. And then I'll layer on this uh, striped piece as well. I'm going to pop this up a bit because there is some dimension to that velvet ribbon and I wanted to make sure that this would stick down. So I've added some quarter inch score tape or foam tape there and then some ATG to press all of that into place. I'll add this little branch here. And then I'm gonna pop the bird up with some foam dots also. Now, as I started out here, I placed this pattern paper directly onto my card base. So that is going to complete card number three. Here for card number four, I've got some julep cardstock trimmed to four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm using the back lighter side of that cardstock. I've got some of the bird pattern paper trimmed to one and a half by four and a quarter. And then I have one of the um, rip strips from the top of the pattern papers that's trimmed to four and a quarter by about a half an inch there. The espresso cardstock, I'm using the darker side of that, which is the front that measures two and a half by three and a half. And then I'm also adding in some mink cardstock. I'm using the lighter back side of that, and that is two and a quarter by three and a quarter. I've also pulled in one of the wooden snowflakes. Here I'll go ahead and stamp out my thank you sentiment. I didn't like the way that looked, so I'm gonna flip that over. That's why I ended up using the back side of this. And I'll go ahead and pop that up using some of my foam dots. I'm gonna center that right on top of that espresso cardstock. Uh, but first I'm gonna place this down on top of my card base. It's just easier before it has the foam dots. And now I'll get that centered on top of the espresso. Lastly, I'll add some art glitter glue to the back of that snowflake and press that into place. And that completes card number four. For card number five, I have got some New England Ivy cardstock. I'm using the lighter back side of that. That's trimmed to four and a quarter by five and a half. I've got some bird pattern paper trimmed to three and a half by five and a half. The purple pattern paper is trimmed to three quarters by five and a half. And the sangria cardstock, I'm using the darker front side of that, is trimmed to one inch by two and five eighths. So I'll go ahead and get everything layered together here. Pulled in two of those branches gonna add the first one down with some art glitter glue actually I think I ended up doing both of these with the art glitter glue and then I'm gonna pop up my sentiment yeah so I'll go ahead and add some foam dots to the back of my sentiment that is again stamped with the espresso brown ink
Lastly, I have pulled in another one of the stamped birds. This is stamped with julep ink and it's actually a secondary stamping of that. So I stamped it once and then very quickly moved to a second one just to get that nice lighter color. I've popped that up with some foam tape as well. Here I'll add some ATG to the top of my card base and press my panel into place. And that will complete card number five. Here are a few close-ups of the finished cards. In the description box below, you'll find my blog post, which has additional photos and links to the supplies I used. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a comment or a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.